I know. A sacrifice must be made, uh -huh. but not by the Lord of Dendro. <sighs> We've all grown on this long journey. If the purpose of that growth was to return home, then our wishes have come true. Would you lend us your power? No. You knew it would come to this. All the knowledge, language, and emotions that you have learned will be reverted into pure elemental energy. In your new homeland, nothing of who you were will remain. You won't be remembered by anyone. Is that truly the return you've always dreamed of? Lord of Dendro, don't be sad. This is not your home. We go home. Lord of Dendro should also go home.
Hold your time. Their knowledge, memories, and emotions have been reversed. The guardians that have accompanied me for- They will be born once again now. But that's different! They won't ever- Paimon, we will never understand it, and it will never understand us. That's how it's destined to be. But as long as you can be healthy again, then nothing else matters to me, Apep. Samara will be free from threat as long as your health is maintained. I thought that my rage would be kindled once my power returned to me. However, what I feel now is a feeling that has long eluded me. The feeling of peace. The forbidden knowledge influenced you ever since you were contaminated, greatly amplifying your hatred and rage. Yes. There's be that as it may. When you inevitably perish due to your ever-expanding curiosity, I will still sneer and mock you in my heart. Sheesh! Who can put up with- I respect your decision. And with time, I will prove to you that we will not repeat our mistakes. Before you begin resting, there is one last thing I would like to know. How did you become affected by forbidden knowledge? It's a long story. We all once believed in the distant past that only forbidden knowledge could give us enough power to defeat the heavenly principles. The Dragon King acquired the power of darkness from outside of this world and led us in a fight against the order established by the outsiders. D dragon King? An unimaginable war took place into that. In war, the victor would inherit the right to shape the world. But I didn't give up on searching for a way to turn the tides, even after the death of the Dragon King. As I attempted to collect more forbidden knowledge from the corners of the world, as it was on the verge of collapse, sand dunes arose where there was only forest. And it was as if even Sumeru itself was trying to tell me that the era of the dragons was over. But you still didn't give up, did you? Because of Amun Alakmar. Yes. Alakmar eventually obtained this power with the help of Nabu Malikata. His ambitions continued to grow, and he planned to establish a powerful kingdom in my domain. Although I didn't think much of him, the condition was that after his death, at that time, some of the dragons have grown close to your kind, and have forgotten all about our hatred from when the world was taken from us. And some died, leaving behind nothing but their bones. While others chose to flee, but for me, the scales and will- I will follow them until the end of my time. <sighs> you really are insane. When Alakmar's proud kingdom collapsed, however, what I gained was no benefit. I used up all my strength just trying to keep the pain under control. But even then, I still believe that his insanity was far greater than that of my own. So that's how they- I admit that I- Tiny Booer, and the rest of you. How far will a life so dear and precious to the heavenly principles be able to go?